Hello friends and welcome to my channel. My name is Jess and today we are doing a daily plan with me, but I'm also going to be showing you how I will use two memory keeping um, baby child type sticker books for a daily planning spread that's not themed around kids. Um, so for my new viewers, welcome. My returning viewers, welcome back. Glad that you guys are joining me. So, I mean, really, let's just go ahead and jump into, th into the spread and let's start using these stickers. So I have the big memory keeping butterflies and blooms. Um, a lot of the stickers are themed around kids, like your the first year and such because they're made for memory journaling. The second sticker book is Little Love Parenting. I think this one is called To the Moon and Back or something like that. Um, and it's really centered around like little like newborns and the first year of life sort of thing. The stickers are adorable, but I'm not going to be using them for memory keeping or kids or anything like that. I'm going to be using them for my daily planner. We are planning for Wednesday the 6th and December 7th, um, Thursday. I think we're going to do the 6th first and we're going to use the big butterflies and blooms. I also have the classic, which the classic says that it's for the happy planner, while the big says that it's for the memory keeper. But I feel like at this point, you guys know that I love using big stickers in my daily pages. Um, also, one, one thing I really noticed, this says that it's for the big, these are not big stickers. <laughs> like these are not big like other ones are. Oh, but also I remembered what I wanted from this one. This one has these adorable Polaroids and that's what we are using. Okay, so let's start out with whiting out the headers. And because I'm going to be putting a quote up in the corner, I always like to do like a motivational quote. I think the colors that we're going to do is we're going to do this blue. And really, these stickers are like adorable because, I mean, you could like you, you print out and you could put like a little photo in this and make it look like it's a Polaroid and it's just so stinking adorable. And then we're also going to use the red one. And I just, I'm just going to put them both like right there, right there at the very top and smooth it out. Hold on, let me like reposition that to where it's a little bit smoother. And if you notice, I do have like a tiny bit right here in the corner. So I'm just going to cut that away because I don't obviously don't want that to be shown through. Okay, perfect. Um, and I think what I'm gonna do, well, first thing I notice is now I can only have room for a very small checklist, but that's okay. I'm also gonna be using the little bees because I think that the little bees are just so stinking adorable. Sorry, you guys, I have this thing with bees and the fact that happy planner sticker books have so many bees in them re recently like it just makes me so happy <laughs> so we've got those little bees around i'm gonna go ahead and look for a quote that i can put up here in the corner before i get like oh this is perfect enjoy the little moments i mean yes obviously that's like they're talking like, enjoy the little moments of your kid before they get to be a teenager and they want absolutely nothing to do with you. Um, but I'm using this as a enjoy the moment, enjoy the little moments of the day because time goes by way too fast. That's how I'm taking it. I'm going to use my little bone tool and I'm going to 
smooth out all of those little air bubbles that just pop up into the page when you're putting down a clear sticker. Um, okay, so we've got that. What I was also thinking was I love using arrows like this, and this is like literally just gonna double as a header. Um, and then it's just a matter of finding maybe a checklist or finding some dots that I can be able to put over there. So let's see what we, I don't, I'm not gonna be surprised if this one, it has checklists. I wasn't gonna be surprised if it didn't have dots. I wasn't gonna be surprised if it didn't have checklists, but it does. So I'm excited about that. So let's find them. Like, I know I saw them on the back. Oh, wait a minute. That was washi strips that I saw. It was not, it was not checklist. Okay. I'm gonna kind of go through like some of my single, single sheets. Um, we have this one. I think this right here will work really well as a checklist because it, it, I think it's close enough to the color of the bees that I can make it work. So we're gonna basically put it underneath of there and then it's just gonna be really simple to write in, to do on that and voila, I have a header. And then I can also be able to like write in on this what I want each of these boxes to be for. The only thing with this one, I think it's gonna drive me a little crazy and it's gonna be for this one too. So I'm just gonna have to kind of get over it when I'm writing is that my space is kind of crooked and I'm going to need to write this way, but the lines are going that way and that's going to, that is going to drive me a little crazy, but that's okay. We will, we will prevail. It's just okay, Jessica, you can do it. Um, okay. So in terms of kind of thinking like right here, I think I really just want to put like just some more, just some more decoration. Um, okay, we're gonna move this butter. We're gonna move this bee. Because what if we put some flowers in there? Like it just makes sense that the bees need the bees need some flowers. So we're gonna do that one right there. I may even put this bee back and use that one instead because it's on clear sticker paper. Um, oh, no, that's a that's a one that's attached to a quote. I was thinking about using that one instead. So we're going to put this. And that wasn't put on there very well. But I'm also going to go to the front of the sticker book and kind of see like what we have for florals and stuff. Cause like, I think even something like this could be super cute. Um, okay, this one, I am going to take my long lost scissors, which I cannot find my long lost scissors. So I'm gonna very carefully not like stick it all the way move I may have cut through my daily page a little bit okay I tore it in half if I cut it and down at the very bottom so then that way I could be able to kind of decide how I wanted these florals to go this is you you make the stickers work for you if the stickers are not working then cut them, trim them down, do whatever you need to do, make it work. I feel like I want one, like a big flower right there. Um, I don't think I've seen these flowers anywhere else, so I'm not gonna 
necessarily look through like another sticker book. I like these ones, but I don't want to, I don't want to deal with that. I like these little birds. So we're going to put, we're going to put like a little bird up here just because it's cute. Um, I'm thinking this one. Okay, and then we need to find our little butterflies. I'm our little bees. I am going. Oh, actually, I think a butterfly would be really cute. Okay, I'm gonna put this bee right there. But we are gonna go and find a butterfly because I don't. I'm kind of feeling that this spread needs a fun butterfly. It's like a ginormous bee. It's like, that is like the biggest bee that I've literally ever seen in a spread. Um, I don't, I think all of the butterflies were really, oh, here. I was looking for like another one that was kind of slightly smaller. And we're gonna put it up here. Where do we wanna put it? Um, like right there. I mean, to me, this is perfect. This is functional enough. And I think it's cute too. So let me just trim off all of the extra stickers. And I mean, honestly, like a spread like this, it has the fun little decoration that I love, while it also has space for me to be functional. This is a Wednesday. I mean, I'm not gonna have like a ton going on. Um, so this is honestly enough. And then I've got space to write down things that I need to do around the house. Um, so yeah, social media, content creating, just little things that I need to remember and then things around the house. And I think we are good for this spread. So now we are going to go to December 7th and we're going to be using the To the Moon and Back, the Little Love Parenting. Um, this is one that's definitely like more planner themed. So I obviously have lots and lots of stickers to use. Now the big thing with this one though is a lot of the stickers have like headers that are meant to be used um, for like little kids. Now, first of all, this, <laughs> this is one of the pages for the reason why I wanted it because owls, I love owls so much and I love this page so much. Um, I do want to use one of these. We're going to use this one that says it all starts with a dream. And I'm actually gonna erase or white out the priorities. You know what? No, 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 no. I don't know, I'm kind of thinking that I want this like right over here, but I also wanna kind of like make sure that it is straight. Do we wanna put it right there? Do I wanna put that up there? Oh, I'm, I'm kind of really torn. Um, let's first of all, see if there's any other stickers that I could potentially want to use. I kind of want to use this one that says simple joys. I think we're going to leave that right there. I may also not be putting a sticker in that top corner. I don't know. That's now I'm like, I'm feeling very indecisive about that. How about this one? 
life is a precious gift. But I still want to have that whited out and I will do something else there. Okay, let me get back to planning. Um, I... Okay, sorry, I'm getting sidetracked here. We're going to do a big old owl. I'm going to put him like right there. And I kind of really like the idea of making it kind of look like a tree like over here and over here. So we're going to do just that one right there. Um, I feel like we need some of the stars kind of around, but I think what I want to do with the stars is I want to kind of break up some of these clusters of stickers. So I went ahead and I took my craft knife and I cut it actually in the book because um, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually put them in kind of more like a line sort of thing. So just like that. Um, and we're going to take this one too. We're going to kind of put them like opposite sides of the owl, I think. I don't know what I'm doing with the owl. I'm just literally putting those around there. Okay, we need... Okay, so these say milestones. However, we are not using them for milestones. So the way that I'm going to use this sticker is I am in fact going to use it right here. I just wanna make sure that I was putting it down straight. And instead of it saying milestones, I'm gonna take this yellow one and I'm just going to put that right there and then I can like put in whatever I need it to say. I also really, really, really like these. So again, take my craft knife and I'm just going to cut it directly into the book. Sometimes it's a lot easier than actually like trying to cut it outside of the book, but that's just going to go up there in the corner. I could use this tool. It's like literally sitting right there and I'm just doo -doo 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 -doo, slacking on using it. Okay. And then if I really wanted to take that other sticker out, then I could just easily take it out and I put it into my sticker rip pile. I like these ones. Like I like the idea of these stickers. I want to actually use this one. I'm gonna put it right here. And I'm just gonna use this little star to cover up. Oh. Hmm. I kind of thinking um are these the same those are in fact the same size okay this is what we're gonna do i am gonna take one of these i'm gonna put it right there and then i'm gonna kind of overlap the other one so it just looks like a little layer I don't really need like, okay, so I've got this functional space. I've got this functional box. If I really, really wanted to make that a little bit more functional, what I could do is I could be able to take this other one and like trim off this one, trim off this one, and then kind of combine them together, which I may actually do. So I'm going to 
trim the very bottom of that, trim the very top of this one, pull that off and take, I don't know why I was using my tweezers for that, but it's like super easy to create a bigger box just like that. And now that box is twice as functional for me. Um, I do want to go ahead and grab a checklist because this, this sticker book does not have checklists. I just so happen to have this checklist right here that actually coordinates with these stickers really well. So we will use that. And then I really love the fact that this one has all of these headers because now it's just like super simple to grab the header that I need. Um, actually, we're gonna we're gonna go flip. We're gonna flip this because I love being able to layer um, the top of the header on top of the checklist. And I want to be able to do that. So this way I'm kind of doing like a bunch of layering between the stickers. And then I feel like I need something right here. So I think what I want to do is kind of really just want like maybe some more owls in it. Yeah, because I'm kind of, I'm trying to think of like, what other things do I have going on this day? And I really don't have a ton going on. Um, these ones right here, these say nap time notes. Like, honestly, I could just see myself whiting that out and writing over them. Let's try that out. So I'm going to do, I think what I'm going to do for this one is I'm going to do another, I'm actually not going to combine. Oh, I am going to combine the stickers. Okay. So this one, I am trimming off just the bottom border. I'm going to pick the sticker that is the same color and cut off just the bottom border. Okay, let me see. Let's see how this works out because I'm kind of thinking putting this sticker right here and then doing like some decoration next to it. I have to got to trim just a little bit more. I could still see like the curve from could still see the curve from the sticker. Okay, so this is where it can get like a little wonky. But I'm going to take my white out. And I don't mind to white to to blah. I don't mind to um write over white out. If you don't like to white, oh my gosh, if you don't like to write on white out, then this is probably something that you would want to avoid. I don't mind it at all. Um, I feel like I feel like my pens still write smoothly over white out. And I, honestly, when I'm planning, that doesn't bother me. But hey, I now have a functional sticker that I can use. But I do want to use Not him. Oh, actually, actually, what if I did this? Had this branch and he just so happens to be standing on the branch. And look at that, that is cute. That is super, super cute. I will admit, I don't love that. 
So, I think we're gonna get rid of it. I feel like I need something in that corner and I'm kind of stumped on what to use unless I just put like some more stars in that corner because there's there's really no quotes that work um so in in that case we're gonna use this little blue owl He's just flying really, really, really high. He's flying, he's, he's sitting in the stars. <laughs> and I probably should have trimmed this one when it was still in the book, but I didn't. So I'm gonna cut it because I want to have the stars separated. I think it's kind of cute. I will admit, I'm not a big fan of the cream stickers. Um, I was kind of going back and thinking like, could I be able to layer a sticker behind it? I'm not going to, um, just because I'm worried that when I go to, if I go to pick up that sticker, it will tear. I think overall, I think this works. Like, I feel like I have still a functional spread. So, all right, let me go ahead and, let me go ahead and put this away. Um, question of the video. Do you think I was successful in using some baby memory keeping stickers to still have a functional daily pages. Let me know your thoughts. Thank you guys so much. Thumbs up, subscribe, click that notification bell, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and enjoy the next video.